You're gonna be shocked when I tell you how I made this. Hey people, welcome to my channel. My name is Larissa and today I'm gonna show you how to make those vases that you have been seeing everywhere that are super trendy right now that look like it's vintage, old, distressed, kind of like if you dug it out of your backyard and it's been there for a long, long time, that one. Now those right now are casting your liver, your whole body, and we are not here for it. What we are here for is to learn how to make it at a way more affordable price, way more, and make it the way you would want it to look, right? If you don't already have a vase in your house that you're like, mm, I don't quite like that, I would like to do something with it, you can get one at your local thrift store. Most of them has vases like that. Many of them is not looking that great, so it's even better because you can just retouch it and revamp it and make it look just like you want, which is what I did to mine. I found mine at a thrift store back in the summer when I was in Omaha, and I was like, yes, I know I'm gonna do something with this one day, so I'm taking it. I have this problem. I was like, I'm gonna do something with it one day. But I did, I did. Six months later, but I did, right? Now you're not gonna need a lot of things for this DIY. I'm pretty sure most of the things you already have. And if you don't have it, it's pretty easy to find them anywhere. So without further ado, let me show you how I made my version of this. So here's my vase in all its glory. I did not like that purple, so that's why I did what I did. And to start, I just spray painted it black. It doesn't need to be a super well spray painted thing. Just a light coat will do it because we're gonna cover it. After it's dry, the next step is to get some soil and just rub it onto the vase. Now here's where it's gonna get repetitive. You're gonna spray the vase with clear coat. Then you're gonna rub it with soil. And you're basically gonna repeat that a bunch of times. I honestly don't even know how many times I did this, but from time to time, I would let it completely dry before repeating the process, just so the soil would stick to it. In other times, I would rub the soil right after spraying it. After you're happy with the way it's looking, you can distress it a little bit. I just used a chopstick and removed some of the dirt. And then right after, I just rubbed some soil to make it rough and kind of not that intentional. I wanted to give it some dimensions, so I used some brown, beige, and black. And I just dabbed it with a sponge. Then I sprayed it again and to make it look natural, I went over it with the soil again just to buff out the paint. Once you're happy with how it's looking, you're gonna want to seal it. So you're just gonna spray a lot. And I mean a lot, you don't want soil, sand going everywhere in your house. I only did one coat, but if after you are done, you pass your hand through it and you still feel the sand coming out, just do another coat and you should be fine after that. I went over it with a damp cloth just to make sure it was all clean. I'm not gonna lie, I also used some Clorox wipes, but you use it if you need it. And this is how it's looking. This here was when I was using it for Christmas. I put some branches with some lights. And then I decided to put it on my coffee table for spring and I noticed that uh, that bottom was not painted. So I just painted it really quickly with some more dab 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 and now it's on my coffee table for spring. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, please, please 
leave your like leave your comment let me know how you like it because that's very important it helps me know that i should keep going making more videos and that you are enjoying it i hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching